Hello everyone, this is Arul Malinadan, Assistant Professor from Department of Aeronautical Engineering from Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. Today, we are going to see about the basic components of aircraft piston engine. To start with, we will go with the cylinders. The basic components of a cylinder starts with a valve and cylinder interior and a lot of pins around it for convection. Along with that, it has a opening for the spark plug. And if we take the interior of the cylinder, we can see that it is very smooth and the valves are very visible to us. And the exhaust valve is uh, found with uh, carbon deposits. That's all about the uh, cylinder. Let us move on to the next component, which will be inside the cylinder, that is a piston. This is the piston that is present inside the cylinder. This is the moving part inside the piston cylinder arrangement. If we take a closer look at the uh, piston, you can see that there are several grooves here. These grooves are used for uh, fixing piston rings. The bottom one and the top three. To these grooves, we attach such piston rings so that these pistons move without any friction over the entire surface. Instead, friction will be available only on these particular rings. And one advantage is that when uh, these rings get damaged, we can simply change it and it will prevent this piston surface from getting damaged. More important component from the cylinder piston arrangement are these valves. These valves are connected inside the cylinders, so during uh, movement they let inside the uh, air mixture and let out the exhaust gas. You can see that there is a carbon deposit on this uh, piston valve, which means it is an exhaust valve. Now this piston, this piston is connected to this crankshaft can see there is a crankshaft here, it is connected to the crankshaft at this point using a connecting rod and this crankshaft is arranged in a particular time. Along with this crankshaft there is a camshaft which is used to operate the valves. This operation of valves, this timing of this camshaft is very important for the operation of the valves. And these are push pull rods and other accessories and this is the exhaust system and these are some magnetos used for supplying current to, to the spark plug. So the, these are the uh, basic components of uh, aircraft piston engine. Now we are going to see about gas turbine engine which is the most widely used engine in the aircraft industry these days. After the World War II, from the advent of this engine, this has been commercially used in very large aircrafts. Now let us see the basic components and how it works. In olden days, gas turbine engines were used in industries to obtain mechanical rotational output which had a vast uh, exhaust gas as byproduct which they were uh, unable to use during the second world war the engineers thought that if proper kinetic energy is supplied to uh, the exhaust gases it can be converted into a jet using a nozzle which will in turn give thrust which can be used for the movement of aircraft or propelling the aircraft. Let us take a point of view of the components here. The first component is the diffuser which is not connected to this uh, setup here. The second component is the compressor. We can see that the inlet guide vanes are uh, visible in this compressor. After, after the inlet guide vanes, we can see a set of rotors are present on the shaft. In between these uh, 
set of uh, rotors there is a blade that is not moving which is called as a stator which is kept as a display here so in between these uh, rotors and stators kinetic energy is supplied to the gas from the rotor and the pressure is increased when the air passes into the stator it further acts as a diffuser and increases the pressure so pressure in the compressor is increased from stage to stage here this section is the combustion chamber section we can see uh, fuel hoses entering into the uh, combustion chamber and after the combustion chamber we have the turbine the combustion chamber is of three types can type annular type and uh, can annular type last part is the turbine section after this turbine we have a nozzle that so we can see here in this model of the uh, jet engine we can see after the turbine blades there is a flame holder and an igniter and a fuel injection flame holder igniter and a fuel injection in this part of the section which can be used as an afterburner with a variable area nozzle for fighter aircrafts for uh, sudden increase of thrust